Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we are watching Nope. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving on into Nope. This movie has been on my list for a little while now and I'm super excited to finally be watching it. I really enjoyed the last movie directed by Jordan Peele that we watched here on my channel, which was Get Out. And I've heard decent things about this one. I saw billboards when this movie was coming out around Los Angeles for a really long time and it definitely piqued my curiosity, but I just never got around to watching it at that point. I've also been to Hollywood Horror Nights the last couple years and uh, there's always like a nope exhibit and I never really understand what's going on. So I'm really eager to get on into this movie and finally have some questions answered. All I really know about this movie is that on the billboard, they're all looking up. And so I'd presume like there's aliens, like an alien invasion involved. But I've also heard from people that it's kind of meta and there's commentary on the film industry. The haunted house that I walked through that was nope themed at Universal didn't really answer any questions. Um, it just made me more confused. So <laughs> I really don't know what to expect going into this movie, but I'm excited. This movie was a part of a pretty fun, scary movie themed poll over on my Patreon page. If you guys don't know, I do have a Patreon page where I always post my full length style watch along reactions to movies and shows. And I also post those reactions a lot earlier than I do over here on YouTube. And I also do polls where you guys can vote and help me decide what to watch next. So if any of that stuff interests you, maybe check out my Patreon linked below. Hello. I've also been doing more movie reactions lately over on my other channel, Natty Gold, that's also linked in the description. We've been watching a lot of fun movies this year. There's been a lot to check out, and I've been having a lot of fun doing different kinds of reactions. So in the spirit of watching new content, I'm just excited to be diving on into this and seeing what it's like. I am a little nervous because I'm a little baby and I don't like scary things, but I feel like Get Out was scary, but I could handle it. Like it was horrifying, but it wasn't like super jump scary if that makes sense like it was it was frightening but it wasn't the thing or hereditary really messed me up it was just like scary but I could handle it I'm hoping that nope is the same thing I'm hoping it's just like disturbing and funny but like also hor horrific but not like super jump scary because jump scary is where I just get like messed up that's really what I don't like <laughs> with all that being said I think it's finally time to watch this movie so if you guys are ready grab a drink grab a snack and let's get into Nope. You have no idea how to tell time. It's like a sitcom. Monkey Paw Productions. Okay. <laughs> you I will cast abominable filth at you, make you vile, and make you a spectacle. Oh god, this is gonna be creepy, isn't it? I was really hoping it wouldn't freak me out that much, but... Is that a monkey? <gasps> Oh, why is this have blood? Did it eat a person? There's blood uh, all over it. Oh, Gordy. I guess Gordy of the sitcom wasn't too happy anymore. Are we in like the child's perspective? I'm scared. Oh no, we are, aren't we? It's gonna be a jump scare. No, Jordan, please don't do it, Jordan, please. Jordan? <sighs> oh, okay. Oh God, I feel like, ah, uh, I'm talking more because I'm scared. With horror movies, like, I feel like if I don't shut up, I can, it's like I can keep the wall up between me and the movie, you know, I, and not get too immersed. Where are your sister? What's that about? She's supposed to be here. Yep. <sighs> I do feel better with Daniel now. I feel like I have a person to latch onto. The first scene freaked me out because it was just horrific and I didn't know what was happening. Now I feel like I have a protagonist. I feel a little safer. <laughs> Oh, are the cell towers down? Well, I told you to fix the damn walker. Uh, what? What the f***? Is a plane crashing above him? Oh my god. The inciting incident is really coming out of nowhere. <gasps> is he dead? Oh no, he just got shot, didn't he? He just got shot. He slumped over. He dead. Oh god. What is going on? I'm already so scared. What was that about? Oh, it went through his eye, huh? Did he look up and it went through his eye? That's fun. A coin? It was a coin. A key fell in. So it's just metal fell out of the sky? Frantic chatter and screaming. Oh, wow. The sound design is already really unsettling. I'm not going to lie. Because it's like, I don't know what I'm hearing fully. Like sometimes it sounds like screaming, sometimes it sounds like laughter, sometimes it sounds like wind. So that's, that's great. The 
sound designer did a really great job. What is this? Now we're watching like a movie, like a one of those like card flip animation style things. Oh, he still brought the horse to set, even though his dad died. This is OJ, our horse trainer. Take it away. Oh, now he's got to like deliver a speech. He's like a farmer. He's got to deliver a safety speech. <sighs> My name is OJ. Oh boy. Um, with Haywood Hollywood Horses and uh, did you know the very first uh, Hey, yo! I'm so sorry about that. Do it. I'm sorry, brother. Safety meeting. Yeah. Do the safety speech. She's clearly the outgoing, charismatic one. <laughs> My name is Emerald. That's OJ. And we are your animal wranglers today with Haywood Holly. Yeah, she's the, she's the salesperson. Look at her. Assembly of photographs in sequential order to create a motion picture was a two-second clip of a black man on horse. Oh, that's what we saw before this. Now, I know you guys know Edward Moorbridge, the grandfather <laughs> of motion pictures, who took the pictures that created that clip. But does anybody know the name of the black jockey that rode the horse? Probably not. Although, actually, I didn't know who Edward, whoever you just said he was either. I, I didn't know any of their names. <laughs> that man was a Bahamian jockey that went by the name of Alistair E. Haywood. And he is my great great grandfather. Great. There's another That's great cool. grandfather. Great 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 great. <laughs> I love how he just added great. <laughs> We like to say since the moment pictures could move, we had skin in the game. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed and then immediately felt insecure because nobody else laughed. Oh my God. Uh, motorcycles, baby. Look, I, I make a mean grilled cheese if you're looking for crafty. Just, just holler at me. She's so cute. I love Kiki Palmer. He really did need his sister to come in and help. Tell the horse we're ready to do one. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, man, if she can't get near the back of the horse, what are we doing here? Hey, 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 hey. To be fair, everyone deserved that to happen. I feel bad because that's like really going to reflect poorly on this guy. But my God, all these idiots. Tell the horse we're ready to do one. Okay, bro. I'll just go. He he he. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, it was a photo? I'd be like, it's okay. You're in our photo now. That's fine. Is he selling the horse? Like, why is he bringing the horse here? Who'd you bring me? Uh, Lucky. It's my second best horse, you know. Lucky. Aww. OJ, the offer I made your dad is still on the table. Oh. The monkey from the beginning. This is in reference to the Gordy's home incident. <laughs> Where the monkey lost it on set? But fabled sitcom, I starred in in 96 after Pete Sheriff blew up. He starred in it. So were we seeing it from his perspective in the beginning of the movie? Remember Jean Jacket? Yeah, good horse. <sighs> Horse's name is Jean Jacket. Okay, I've heard people talk about Jean Jacket, but I, know, I don't know what it means or why, but I've heard that name. Standing right here at this window watching y'all train my horse. Pops never looked up at me. Whoa. Come on. That's sad. But you did. I really like the way that Jordan Peele is doing these like flashback sequences from the person's perspective. It's really, I like it a lot. Pops did something when he made this place. He changed the industry. That's real. I can't just let that go. Hmm. Why is Ghost in the arena? Oh, God. Why is Ghost in the arena? Ghost! Oh. Like it's a new chapter, goody. With all the coyotes howling out there. Oh God, I'm, why are the animals acting weird? Why is metal falling from the sky? Is Ghost the one that the key landed? Yeah, the key landed in his butt. Oh God, and it's quiet. Oh, she's just playing music. But the way it's like the whole the sound design, that's terrifying. Whoa, I feel like I'm underwater. How did it how did the, did the horse just jump out of the arena? He didn't even look phased. OJ, you're so calm and collected, man. He's like, well, I don't know. I don't know. He didn't even yell at the horse. He was just kind of like, all right, well, I guess I gotta go get it now with the Kubota. That's a really spooky howling. I don't like that kind of howling. I don't like that at all.
Is that Jupe speaking? He has a crystal clear microphone. Oh, God. What's going on? Oh my God, what, what is this mist about? Oh no. Where'd he go? Did he run? Oh, the power is going out. He looks, he looks so unfazed, this man. That's definitely a UFO. Well, I guess the definition of a f UFO is unidentified flying object. So yeah, <laughs> it's a UFO. I'm telling you, man, we don't need a lot. We just need enough to make our shit look different from what's out there. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know I ain't trying to run it up. Wait, why do we go to Fry's? I mean, there's a little UFO there. What? Is this like an alien store? I'm confused. What are we buying? Website like Cyber Dominion. Or pay five to honey gay for photographic evidence of you. Oh. Oh, she wants to try to profit off of what he saw. Girl is ready to turn anything into a side hustle. You should be fine. But the outages affect the power and the battery too, like cell phones. Okay. All right, cell phones, they don't just drop in power, right? This guy is such an attitude. This, he's so frustrated. I would just be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's technology. <laughs> I'd be like, ha-ha! <laughs> They're like, shut okay, well, up. maybe you're in a UFO hotspot. <laughs> oh, well. <gasps> is he going to go help him with the setup? Is he curious? Is he... What's up? Hey, nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at me, man. What the f Sorry if I was like a little shut down this morning. Just got out of a four year relationship. Oh, did he just scream out of nowhere? Bro, I understand you're going through but you can't do that around strangers. Where you going? I gotta go to the store and get stuff. Don't worry about it. You need anything? Oh my God. I would be like, do not leave me here with this random dude that just screamed. She booked a pilot on the CW. <laughs> yeah love me well don't worry bro she's probably not gonna do much else after that it's a pilot probably not gonna go anywhere don't worry <laughs> i didn't realize we were gonna like have so much like references to i mean i did hear i guess some people said that there would be references to like film but it's a lot it's funny or they're f***ing world killers planetary destroyers and that means that they've been watching us and studying us waiting for the perfect time to beam us up who cares? Who cares? Honestly, y'all, if the aliens are that advanced and they are hostile, we've lost. It is what it is. Like, there's nothing you can do. Can't be in control of it. I can monitor the feeds remotely myself if you want. Free of charge. Hell no. no. Free of charge. He really wants to know what's going on. Clover. Also, Ghost is just gone. Is Ghost gone because, like, Ghost ran away because Ghost was scared? Or did Ghost run towards the UFO and get taken? Oh, he's creating that thing that freaked out the horse on set. Oh, the light just turned on. Okay, that's not terrifying at all. Oh, there's a horse in there. Oh, dude, I've read too many terrifying skinwalker stories of like parts on animals getting swapped out. I just don't want to see anything like that. I'm not going to lie. What's the thumping about, huh? What's that about? I'm sorry, what is that? He's pulling out his phone. I'd be pulling out a gun. Ah! Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. He's trying to film it? I'd be like, get the f out of here! It's gonna come around the corner. Maybe not because he's filming. Ah! Jordan Peele, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You must back up the property. Don't mess with Jupiter's claim. How did they get in here? They trying to prank Haywood? It's on. Hey, you stole that horse. Yeah. Oh my God, Emerald, you're getting them in trouble. Okay, that, that those kids were really uh, talented. <laughs> Freaking me out. <laughs> oh my God, I hate this. Dude, the suspense, I hate it. It's in the cloud. OJ, it's in the cloud! Mm -hmm. O 
OJ is so cool and calm. Daniel Kaluuya is doing a really good job of playing like a farmer. He's just so like reserved emotionally, you know, like he's doing a great job. It's totally different than his character and like get out. Oh my God. Oh my God. You can't see where it is. It's fine. There's no point in running. Oh man, we really should have hopped on the horse. Is it gonna beam the horse up? Did they just steal a horse? This poor family can't catch a break. I ain't never seen like this. It ain't worth it. Yeah, dude, I agree. I'd be getting the hell out. I'd be like, get me out of here. You should go then. I gotta get up early anyway. He's like barely phased. He's not abandoning the rest of his horses. <gasps> Is this that cinematographer or director, whoever? You make the cinematically impossible possible. Well. We're looking for the impossible shot. That's impossible. He already knows what she's talking about? I mean, he's editing footage of like an octopi killing a crab, so I think he's into it. I think he'd be into it. This dream you're chasing, the one where you end up at the top of the mountain, all eyes on you. It's the dream you never wake up from. Oh my God, Jesus, dude. I don't like him. <laughs> yeah, that was a really strange phone call. That guy spoke like a horror character. Oh, he's just, you trust me, kid. You know, you want to be careful. Don't fly too close to the sun. It doesn't move like a ship. What do you mean, OJ? What if it's not a ship? What would it be? An animal? Like a, like a creature? Oh, my God. Is this the day that Gordy lost it? Oh, wow. Beautiful, Harry. <laughs> It's freaking me out that we can hear Gordy and not see him. It's Oh, the pop balloon. The pop balloon is what caused him to lose it. There's got to some... Oh, 1998. We're flashing back in time. I was going to say there has to be a connection to, like, Gordy and the UFO stuff, right? There are dead people in the audience. Oh, my God. The applause sign flashing. That's really creepy. Man, they should have put this set at Universal Studios. They didn't do that. That would have been terrifying. <laughs> what the f***? So everybody just died or fled and like left this little kid alone. Oh, the shoe. How is it perched like that? Oh, God, we're going to see what happened to him after Gordy looked at him. I don't want to. I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Uh-oh, no. Uh -oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Oh, no. Is it going to grab his arm? No, don't do it, Gordy, please. He's just a kid. <laughs> Oh, that's really traumatizing. That's really traumatizing for that poor kid to live through. Oh my God. Oh, that's sad. Oh, wow. You think there'd be a connection to what's going on in the present day versus with Gordy, but I don't know. What if I told you? Oh, it was the speech. It was a speech that he was giving the other night. When the power went out, he was practicing for the big show. This chapter is called Lucky, which was the name of the horse they sold. Is Lucky under the tarp? I'm worried. An old co-star of mine and my first crush, Mary Jo Elliott, everyone. Oh, did she survive? Oh, she had her face destroyed, probably by the chimpanzees. So she keeps her face covered, huh? What is under the blanket? Your choice. Your cho they can hear you, but oh my God, he's got a UFO on the back of his jacket. What the heck? What if I told you, you'll leave here different? Uh, what kind of different? Depending on the difference, I would, I'd, I'd like to know before I make my decision. Lucky. Is he just buying horses from OJ to then send off into the ether with the aliens? And though they have yet to emerge from their ship, I believe they trust me. Oh yeah? If they didn't, I don't think any of us would be here right now. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> That's kind of what I said, but I don't trust them. I just think if there's this 
living thing out there and it's more advanced than us technologically and more powerful and it wants to take us out, then whatever. It is what it is. It's coming. It heard you talking about them. Isn't that what you wanted? Now sit back, stay in your seats, and enjoy the Star Lasso experience. Power's shutting down. The icy machine. Star Lasso experience for you. Oh. Was that the sound of screaming? And that's why he said it wasn't like a ship. Like, what if it was a monster? They're all inside of it now. Oh my God. The Star Lasso experience is not fun. Does it digest them and then spit the metal out? And that's what happened earlier in the movie? Oh my God. And they're all gone. Happy trails. Oh, this was what they did at Universal. They did the Jupiter's Claim thing. I forgot. Yeah, this is what it looked like. Hasta la vista. Adios. <laughs> Adios. Everybody's gone. <laughs> I wonder if Lucky survived. Lucky's fine. Lucky stayed in the cage and Lucky's fine. Dude, whoever did the sound design for this is evil. They, the sound design is so unsettling. He's like, I'm gonna go get lucky. He's just gonna get lucky. Oh, the fact that you can still hear the people screaming. Lucky's like, uh-uh, I'm safe here, bro. Maybe just wait a bit. Oh my God. Dude, he's lucky he was in that container, but he just got slammed up. Is he okay? Hey, mom. It's a lot of them. It's an animal. It's territorial. And it thinks that this is its home. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's terrifying. It really has a flair for the theatrics. <laughs> oh, he wasn't that far. Okay, a knife is not gonna do much. We're in trouble. A knife is not gonna help, but okay, bro. Oh God. It's spitting out, it's spitting out the metal and the parts that it can't digest. That's what happened the first time. Yeah, all the parts that it can't keep in its little stomach. Really, it had to do this on top of their house? Oh my God. It's raining blood. Oh, the house is never gonna be the same. I mean, this is more than just a paint job we'll fix. It's so close, look at that, it's right there. It's like this monster's equivalent of like a dog like pissing on a plant and claiming territory. That's like what this thing is doing. Dude. Lucky. Oh, in the back. Right, I forgot he's hauling Lucky. Dude, Daniel Kaluuya's performance is so much more subtle in this movie. Like, I do believe that he is like a rancher, you know? Or like a horse handler. He also barely looks scared. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. The way the crack in the, in the door lit his face. He's like, okay, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 not ready yet. Okay. Dude, this thing got so hungry out of nowhere. Like it just ate like 50 people. You'd think it would be ready for a break. <laughs> the metal horse. Oh, it did take that as like a threat to its territory. It did get mad about that, huh? He's locking the door, man. I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> what? Where is he going? Is he going to get the other car? Is he going to turn it off? Yeah, she, she gonna... <gasps> Flashback. Okay. 
Oh, hey, horsey. Hey, don't don't look at an eyes, please. Oh, flashback to when they were on set. Oh, the thing. Yeah, why did that? Okay, so that thing freaked the horse out, and he made one of those, didn't he? <laughs> leaving Lucky? Oh my god. Can we at least let Lucky out so Lucky can make a break for it and try to live in the wild somewhere? Like, what was that about? Like, the tapping on the leg thing? I don't think it eats you if you don't look it in the eye. Mm, like if you don't look up? Oh, that's what he was thinking of. That's why he was looking down, but everybody else was looking up when it came to get them. Except Lucky probably didn't look up. OJ's brave as shit, man. How exactly do you enter an agreement with the a UFO alien entity or whatever the hell you want to call it. Jean Jacket. We're going to call it Jean Jacket now? Oh, so to inspire your sister to tame it? <laughs> Made her myself. No electricity. Oh, yeah. You need old-fashioned film Let's for go, this. <laughs> I loved that. That was cute. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen them get excited with each other. <laughs> Jean Jacket. Every chapter has been like named after a horse, I'm pretty sure. So this is the last one. That face. Who's on the motorcycle? Who's this asshole? Uh-oh, who is it? What did happen with Jim Park and all those people? He was basically your neighbor, right? So what, they vanished? This guy's a f loser. Guys, it's TMZ. Well, TMZ's probably gonna get sucked up. You don't wanna go that way. Yeah, you don't. You're lost, nobody. No, okay, well, goodbye. He deserved it. We're still rolling? Over. Goddamn right we are. I mean, that guy's an idiot. He deserves whatever happens to him. Show up on private property acting all entitled like that. What happens when an electric bike going 60 miles per hour hits an anti-electric field going in the opposite direction? Ooh. Oh, it's slowed. You know, it was his fault, and if you got it on camera... Uh, what an idiot. Now you're supposed to go help him, and it's like... I told his ass not to go. He, yeah, he did it to himself. Okay. Angel. What? No. Come on, we gotta reload. Oh my god, oh my god, no way. No way. Should've had it ready to go, man. Where's your phone? Why aren't you filming this? Why aren't you filming this? Why are you asking these questions? Like you're, you're, you just, you should be like trying to get out of here, bro. Oh my God, this guy is so obnoxious. Make a name for yourself. Oh, his whole helmet is reflective. I'm bad, man. Yep, you gotta abandon him. You gotta abandon him. My camera! I need my camera! My camera, oh my God, you deserve to die. You deserve to die, dude. Goodbye, you're so annoying. Gonna spit out body parts on top of him. It's like tormenting him getting that close. It's kind of a miracle how he figured out so fast that looking at it was the problem. Oh, he put eyes on the back of his head? It's like if a praying, uh, no. It's like if a, what are those things called? It's like if a manta ray was evil and could fly. Oh my God. Isn't having the eyes on the back of his head gonna make it suck him up? Oh, he's doing that. He's, he read this creature so right. Holy and I bet you got none of it on film. Polite. What? It's gonna be all right, Angel. We don't deserve the impossible. Holst, what are you doing? He wants to get the perfect shot. Don't look up, Holst. He's looking at it. Why? He just sacrificed himself for the shot? He's obsessed with like monsters eating, like creatures eating other things. So what he wants to get the shot of inside it and then he knows it'll spit the camera out. So he's like, hopefully the film will survive. A Angel, don't look at it. Good, good, thank you. The tarp is saving his ass, my God. 
is he doing with the, oh God. Oh God, all the records. <laughs> oh, he's keeping it wrapped around him to destroy the, th oh. He's trying to keep it wrapped around him so that he can do a heroic deed and cut the thing up. Damn, Angel, why do you have to go out at all? Wait, did it spit him out? Because it didn't like the barbed wire? That's funny. Maybe it wasn't so much about a heroic deed, but about saving himself too. But either way, smart idea. Lucky. What a good horse. Lucky is such a good horse. Ew, why does it look like that? Why is it spreading out? Why does it look so big? I'm not sure the bike will work. Oh God, this would be me. I'd be having a hard time picking it up too. Oh, of course. Oh, it's really expanded. Why does it, what the heck is it doing? It's little internal square. I was like looking for her. What the f it really did not like that barbed wire, huh? Is this like, this is like the Predator's version of like peacocking. <laughs> and I'm supposed to think this is like scary, but it's kind of just pretty. Honestly, it looks like a jellyfish. He's just trying to save his sister. Just making eye contact with it to get her out of there until she can start the bike again. Oh, the little thing coming back around that he did from her window or to her window back in the beginning. Like, just look at me. Why does it look like that? What is going on? Yeah, it's it's peacocking, all right. Look at that. Dude, this girl is brave after watching what just happened with that TMZ asshole. I'd be terrified going fast on that bike. Oh, she's trying to get to Jupiter Claims. God, how is she so good on an electric bike? Is she gonna get a photo of it with the well? That'd be hilarious. Is she gonna send it down the well and get a photo? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, if it eats that, true. We'll see if it eats it though. I don't know if it's gonna fall for it, but that'd be cool. Oh, yeah, she is doing the, she's doing the, she's just doing what I thought she was gonna do. The winking well, yeah. Oh, it is going for the balloon, wow. That's really pretty, I'm not gonna lie. It might die like this, that's actually insane. <laughs> the winky face. I'm gonna take you to Oprah. Come on, just eat the damn balloon. Yeah! Beautiful, wow. Did it eat it? Yeah. Hell yeah, yes. Oh, you're not gonna like that in your digestive tract. That's gonna be uncomfy, you dummy. It exploded. It was like feeding it a bomb. Oh, the balloon's fine. Good job, girl. Whoa, oh, oh my God. Did other people get it on footage? That would make me so mad. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this was fun. This was fun. I don't know if I, I liked it as much as Get Out. I felt like Get Out had more to say with its story where this just kind of felt more like fun and quirky. I also feel like this was less scary in a way. Like I was really unsettled for like the first half of the movie with the sound design. The sound design was really good and not really understanding the imagery that we were seeing uh, in the beginning of the movie was like from the inside of the beast or that the screams were people being digested, like things like that getting revealed later on was really clever and I, I liked that a lot. I'm still trying to figure out like how that whole Gordy thing tied into the story. Like maybe it was just that character trying to find a way to like profit off of something that scared him. 
or tame a beast that was so much bigger than him because he was so paralyzed by fear with Gordy earlier on in the movie. I'm not really sure. Hey, editing Natalie jumping in here. In hindsight, I think that the purpose of this part of the story with Gordy and Steven Yeun's character was just to demonstrate how he was trying to tame this beast that he really couldn't control where OJ as a character actually had a much better understanding of animals and creatures and knew how to trick the beast and and how it functioned, but I don't know if we really needed the Gordy storyline so much. It felt kind of just like something that was a fun idea and that was scary, but it didn't really feel integral to the rest of the story. And in general, I do think that this movie was filled with a lot of like fun imagery and fun, unique ideas that just didn't really feel totally fleshed out. There maybe could have been some stuff cut out of this movie in terms of like, there were moments that were really suspenseful, I think in the first half of the film that that when there was so much stillness and waiting in quiet, like it really freaked me out and made me more stressed. But then I think by the end, I wasn't that scared anymore. And so we'd have these moments of stillness for like a long time that didn't feel as suspenseful. So I think things like that could have been cut down a little bit. I think Kiki Palmer and Daniel Kaluuya did a great job in their performances. Like I think the actors did well. But all in all, I think this movie is just like fun. I, I don't think it's that great or Jordan Peele's best work. It started off more scary and I think it, that tension just kind of fizzled out by the end of the film. I think all in all, the aesthetics of the film, the sets, the cinematography, the costumes, all of that felt really unique. I think even like the story itself was pretty unique, but I do feel like there were just moments from the movie that didn't feel like they connected and had like a very strong impact together. Like that moment when he's doing this eye contact thing with his sister, I felt like that should have had more impact than it really did. We saw him do that to her in the window when he was training that horse jean jacket. And so I know it was supposed to like tie in as like a sisterly brother, you know, bonding moment and a moment of like recognition and like, I'll be here for you, you know, like we're going to get through this together. But I think if we just seen more of their relationship from that time, it would have had more of an impact. A lot of this movie just felt like prepping and waiting to capture this beast on film. And I think that's where they lost me with the suspense and the tension of it all. Because like the tense moments for me were when I didn't really understand what this creature was, when I didn't really understand what was happening. Like that kind of stuff was more scary. But I, I just kind of think it was mid. I don't think it was a bad movie, but I don't think it was great. The sound design was incredible. Um, that was really unsettling, especially for the first half of the film when we were really confused and didn't really know what was going on. Uh, I think that was brilliant. And I really liked a lot of the moving shots and the cinematography and like really slow, suspenseful reveals for things. Like that was really freaky. Once the mystery was kind of gone, it made everything feel flat and not as intense or suspenseful for me anymore. And I kind of dropped out of the stakes a bit. By the end, it was just a little slow. But aesthetically, um, I do think it was really unique and fun for a movie. And I do think that this is like a really unique film in Jordan Peele's repertoire. I think it's definitely similar in ways to get out in tone, but it's also so different, especially stylistically. And even like Daniel Kaluuya's characters are so different from one another in Get Out versus this. So I really liked getting to see him in a completely different character. All in all, I'm glad I watched this with you guys, but I don't think it's necessarily a film I'll feel compelled to watch again. But that is all I really have for y'all in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.